The beach is straight through there. So I think we, we go there and straight. So the three of us successfully made it to our destination of Natrang. It was a difficult situation early this morning because the bus arrived at like... The bus arrived at like 4 a.m. and we were kicked out onto the streets obviously because the bus has to go again. We had no idea where to go so we just kind of walked around the streets and then we found a hostel but the doors were locked, so we just knocked on the doors and then some dude let us in and let us sleep on the couch. Currently, we can't do much. We can't check in until about 12 o'clock and it's like 10, so we have two hours to kill and we're just gonna explore the city until we can throw our bags away, shower, and get all clean. So I still kind of feel dirty. I'm in my, my bus clothes, but it's okay. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that beach. So as we move further down south, it just becomes more and more tropical as I guess we get closer to the equator. But yeah, we took like that 12 hour bus ride. So we're pretty far down south. We're almost out of Vietnam. Vin Pearl, it's like Hollywood, but not. So we've had a super exciting morning. And by super exciting, I mean, not very fun at all. It, uh, it actually kind of sucked. So this morning, we got in from our bus and we basically, we had nowhere to go because it was 4 a.m. So we walked and we knocked on the door of a hostel. We got let in, we woke the guy up and then basically said, we have no rooms for you, but you can sleep on the couch till the morning. Then you can check in, take your room and all will be good. So we thought, sure. We, uh, we put our bags down and then we hopped on the couch and we split a small couch three ways and uh, we just slept there. All was good, it was a good sleep until in the middle of the night I felt a bit of an itch and so I woke up and I looked down and lo and behold, there's a bug. Now I wasn't really sure what said bug was so I googled it and uh, sure enough, it was a bed bug. Now, I mean, it's, it's bound to happen. We're traveling, we're staying in mini beds, we're changing beds like every two or three nights. So something's bound to happen. It took a while but it finally happened. We ran into bed bugs. So this morning we woke up and there's like marks all over me. Yeah, it, uh, it definitely isn't the most fun thing. So we basically spent all morning telling that hostel, saying like, uh, yeah, we're out of here. We're not sleeping here anymore. You guys have bugs. And um, we switched hostels. Then this hostel gave us towels. But basically we threw all of our clothes in a bag. We're gonna like burn them on. I'm not keeping those clothes. Showered so well. I've never washed myself so well. Uh, soap, hot water, everything, and just basically soaked myself. Christian soaked himself. Chris is soaking himself right now. And um, hopefully all is well. I really hope I'm clean, I feel clean, but I mean, we'll just see if I keep getting bitten. I, I hope not. So yeah, that was the uh, the adventure today. We, we got through that. I really didn't film any of it because it was all like, no idea what to do. Figuring stuff out, my mom helped me a bit, Google helped me a bit. Um, but yeah, I think we got through it. I think we're okay now, crossing fingers. There's my bag of garbage clothes. Those are my shoes. I hope my shoes are okay. And that bag was beside the couch that had bed bugs. So hopefully that bag is okay. So I'll keep you guys updated on the whole situation. If I get bit anymore or they seem to be hitching a ride on our backpacks and following us everywhere we go. As I said, hopefully not. But um, if you guys have any tips or have encountered anything like this before, please, please, please leave them down below because I don't want these critters hitching a ride cross country with us. Good. Now we're gonna go do something on a more positive note and not talk about disgusting little bugs. Okay, that's all sorted out. And now we're uh, out and about headed for lunch. Going to some local food we found. ordered pho, which is like noodle soup. And I guess it kind of did, but it also kind of looks like stew. I'm gonna enjoy this, it looks tasty. That lunch was not bad. I'm, I'm not sure if I go noodle soup again, but um, it was all right, it was all right. I'm actually very surprised at how big this city in the train was. I thought it'd be smaller, like Hoi An, but no, skyscrapers and such. Big city. Okay. 
So I love a good smoothie, but after I finish all my smoothies, I always go to the gym. Oh yeah, work those pecs. You wanna give it a go? Sure. Haven't had such a good workout in my entire life. <laughs> it's revolutionary, actually. <laughs> you look hilarious. Yeah, dude, work it out. No, but in all seriousness, the smoothies were not bad. I mean, for a dollar, you really can't complain. And also, in all seriousness, you always gotta work out after a smoothie. It's a fact. Now, I'm not really sure what this one does for you, but it is definitely sufficiently dangerous. <laughs> yeah, once you get dizzy, it's not easy. Let's go. I feel the burn or, oh my gosh. I feel the burn already. <laughs> also remember to sanitize after touching outdoor gyms. The one thing Christian and I have noticed about being in the train is that there's a lot of Russians, a lot of Europeans, specifically Russians. And you can tell that from the beach, there's so many guys wearing Speedos and that's a very European thing. And then also the signs on the street, like the signage for shops, will say it in Russian before it says it in English. And same with like, uh, like there's a couple of signs Christian pointed out, they don't even have English or Vietnamese, only Russian. See what I'm talking about? Russian. It's just strange that you would, they choose in the train, but I guess they come here a lot. And there's also like those shops, there's a couple shops that sell parkas. It's like, you're in the train, why do you need a parka? But I guess it's because when you live in Russia, you need a parka at home. So you come here, come in the train, take a vacation, buy a parka. It's, uh, it's weird, but it just seems the way it is. My back hurts. This morning as I was coming down from breakfast, walked down the set of stairs, tripped right there, fell at the bottom. And now my back hurts so much, it feels so bruised. But my sore back is besides the point. There's another reason I'm filming this part at the end of the video. I was gonna end it, but one more part. So this is our new nice hostel that we stayed at last night. And Christian and I are going back to the other one to pick up his laundry. You see, before we realized what had happened the other night and that we had bugs all over us, Christian gave them his laundry to do because we needed to do laundry. And, uh, and then after we had given the laundry, we, we realized the, the whole scale of what happened, so we switched hostels. So now we have to go back and, and get his laundry after we told them that they have bugs and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, quick update on last night's sleep. I seem to be fine. I don't have any new bites or, or any more. Uh, basically, I wasn't attacked last night, it seems. My feet were extremely itchy, but I think that's just from the previous night of me being attacked, so fingers crossed. But I think, I think we got rid of them. Was your sleep okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, think, I think we did well. Here it goes. I'm not going to put the hostel's name in the video because that's just unnecessary, but uh, hopefully everything goes well. Great success! There's no issue. They just walked in and gave it to us. I was expecting them to maybe like be upset or something, but they weren't. It's a different guy. Yeah. Yeah, he had no idea. But yeah, not to be gross or anything, like, I don't know if you can tell, but see all these marks on my feet? They're so itchy. And it's because of them. What? The ones on your arm are worse. Yeah, I know. The ones on my arm are like bad. You're the, you're the it's only pretty one disgusting. That got Did you not get bitten? No. Yeah. Uh, Chris and Christian said they have itchy spots, but I guess I got like destroyed. Not nice. And one more thing I want to end off the video, or I want to say before I end off the video, it doesn't have anything pertaining to this situation, but I want to thank every single one of you who comment on any of my videos, give me any type of feedback, and just give me the time out of your day to watch what I create. It's pretty mind-blowing. I don't, I don't know if you guys realize, but every time I make a video, whether it's five minutes, ten minutes, the fact that you guys take the time out of your day, you give me that ten minutes to watch something I create, blows my mind like it doesn't go unnoticed and I'm so thankful there's like 10 of you who consistently comment on every single thing I make you support me and even the people who don't comment anyone who watches I'm just forever grateful 
And I say it at the end of every single one of my videos, but I do appreciate everyone and I love all of you. Anyways, free beer is about to start, so I'm gonna end it off here in classic Noah fashion. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, for real. See you all in another one.